Hi, I'm Jill Macon, a student at Sunset High School, and this year I'm taking Mr. Schilling's IB Physics class. As an IB student, as an IB science student, it is my job to work with other students in the different sciences to see how science has impacted the world. For our exploration, we decided to see how technology in the medical field has affected people in their daily lives, specifically with pacemakers. This was important to me because it gives me the opportunity to see how a field of work that I'm interested in helps people, and that's a big part of how the job becomes rewarding. Hi, my name is Nehal Hegde and I'm a junior at Sunset High School and I'm currently in Miss Bell's IB Bio class as well as Mr. Schilling's IB Physics class. I too believe that it is essential to take an integrated approach of all the sciences when learning more about the world that we reside in. And so that's where biomedical engineering comes in, where it incorporates all the sciences. And this is something that both Jill and I want to go into the future. So we thought it'd be great to go into pacemakers and the impact it has on people, and as well the extent of the impacts it has on so many people up and coming today. I took on a physics perspective to understand some of the changes in lifestyle that are required of people with pacemakers in order for their device to function effectively. The part of pacemaker design that is most closely tied to physics regards the electronic signals that the device is programmed to trigger at various times, depending on the condition that is being treated, with single chamber, dual chamber, and biventricle pacemakers being the different types that are available. One of the more fascinating aspects of pacemakers is that the electrodes connected to the heart are able to both detect and mimic the electrical signals that naturally occur within the heart, filling in when they are absent or too slow. A drawback is that since the pacemaker uses electrical signaling to regulate the heartbeat, any prolonged exposure to electrical appliances or devices with a strong magnetic field can interrupt those signals. Some devices to avoid close prolonged exposure to include cell phones or iPods, household appliances like microwaves, high tension wires, and metal detectors. While these limitations don't cause problems for the majority of people, those who work around electrical equipment do face a challenge of their own, and we talked to an electrician with a pacemaker to see how having a pacemaker has affected his life. Uh, well, uh... It was kind of weird. I didn't have a uh, symptom uh, previous that I knew about that was heart related. It just came on suddenly. Um, had kind of a squeezing feeling right here under the sternum. And I was at work one day and I had that feeling. And I just started getting dizzy. And I told my guys I was working with, I said, I'm getting very dizzy for some reason. And then, bam, I was out. Out of your life. Um, then I came to, which was kind of weird because I thought, you know, it was just blank. Uh, I felt myself at the floor, which was kind of weird. The guys are picking me up. Are you okay? Are you okay? I say, call the RT because I don't know what the heck just happened. And uh, the RT came in. They put all the electronic gizmos on me, you know, and monitored my heart. And uh, they didn't say anything but <laughs> until the ambulance got there. And then the guy says, oh, you got a heart block. And this is what's going on. The doctor came to see me in the hospital and he said, oh, you need a pacemaker. So what are pacemakers? It's a computer device that's placed near your heart and it has two needle-like leads that essentially monitor the pulse that your heart puts out. If there's no pulse, then the pacemaker will provide a pulse for your heart so that it can beat. When your heart starts to beat on its own, then the pacemaker will stop. Some models even have defibrillators built onto them. However, for the most part, a pacemaker simply provides a pulse when your heart can't make one. Showing that Biomedical engineering really can emulate our biological systems of the natural human body, and it's getting better and even better. So I feel a lot better I have that in. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like having a safety net. Keeps me going. There is a drawback uh, to having it, uh, if you can think of it, having a drawback. Uh, being around magnetic fields, being an electrician, it's a, it could be a drawback because I'm always around magnetic fields in some places. Especially at Intel because there's a lot of uh, magnetic pulse machinery around there so I can watch where I go mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll know it if I get too close to one because I'll feel that pacemaker kick in and start pacing because it doesn't it'll interfere with it sensing my heartbeat so then it'll start pacing uh, it's kind of a fail-safe uh, for it if it can't read something it just starts doing it so it's kind of a Kind of a nice feature, but then again, it freaks me out when it happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, there it is again. Um, 
kind of a hassle, but uh, at least I know it's doing its thing. And that is kind of comforting to know that it's doing its, what it's supposed to be doing. But it, it is kind of a, kind of weirds me out because I think, you know, without that, I'd be on the floor again. Or worse, could, could be fatal. Mm. So I'm glad I have it. Um, and uh, it's kind of a good thing. Now it's time for our mind map. So we started out with the impacts that pacemakers have on lives, and especially those impacts that are in the workplace, and that translated into electromagnetic waves and these specific effects in the workplace, especially in the real life story of Wayne Corder and how it has changed his life in our interview, um, and as well as how well a pacemaker emulates the natural biological systems. And we ended it off with how pacemakers even work.